of a difference with. I found your new, your new sponsor. No, what? Yeah, what? another sponsor. Yeah, Sennheiser. Passive. What? Passive. We can hear you. Can you hear everything I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, and that's the problem. You look like a marshal at an F1 race. <laughs> I'll be smacking my head against you in the plane. <laughs> can I finish this? All right, boys and girls, welcome back to another video here on Ludix Aviation. So I'm a firm believer that whether a student pilot or all the way through to an airline pilot, an A&R headset is the way to go. Since 2016, I've been wearing a certain headset that you've seen in videos since that time, which is the Bose headset, the Bose A20s. However, Bose has a competitor and they are Lightspeed. It's December and in the spirit of the Christmas month, Lightspeed have sent me a gift. They've sent me one of their brand new Delta Zulu A&R headsets for me to try out. Just want to say this video is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to wear these today. I've been sent these to kind of try and sway me towards the Lightspeed side, which I've heard good things about Lightspeed. The Delta Zulus, they've got really cool features. One of the main features is a carbon monoxide detector, which is really important for keeping us safe. You can't see, you can't hear, you can't feel carbon monoxide. You can't hear carbon monoxide! <laughs> you can't! You can't hear carbon monoxide! <laughs> but, the, <laughs> but with the detector in the headset you can detect it and there's an app for your phone uh, which shows you the detection. First impressions there it's packaged really nicely and there's some paperwork that goes along with it that I'll look at when I get home uh, and the headset is tucked away at the bottom in its case. Now you can never underestimate the power of a solid case. That's solid. It seems very, very durable. You've got to protect your investment when you're buying something like this. At the airline, I actually attach my headset bag to the outside of my flight bag. So this case is actually perfect for that, to protect it while I'm wheeling my bags through the airport. <laughs> and there it is, in the flesh, Delta Zulus. I really like the offset colours of the bronze and the silver. The head padding seems very soft yet very durable. The ear cups are the same, which is very important because comfort is something that I value above anything else, especially if you're wearing it for long periods of time. I've never worn one of these, so today's going to be the first time. This is going to be a raw kind of test for me to see how I like it. And uh, yeah, you're coming along for the ride. It's IFR today. We're going to be on an IFR flight plan. I'm going to have a special guest in the plane with me as well. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of talking, either to air traffic control or to the moron in the in the left seat. Thanks for sending it, Lightspeed. Let's test it out. Do you want to do the honours or should I? Sorry, carry on, carry I, on. I meant this. <laughs> Remain clear of my propeller! And also yours because you're in the plane as well. We're commencing engine start! Alright, now you can do the honours. Uh -huh. Tell you what, first thing I notice is the wires. Feel the, feel the cable. Ah, oh, that is pretty, uh. Pretty nice. Yeah, nice. Without context, that looks a little bit weird. Uh, Executive Ground, Sky 670 Mike Alpha, picking up the uh, clearance to Orlando. Sky 670 Mike Alpha, Executive Ground, clear to Orlando, Executive Airport as filed, maintain 1500, expect 3000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.3, 12345. Uh, clear to Orlando as filed, 1500 initial, uh, 3000 in 10 minutes, 135.3 and 3445, so, uh, <laughs> 670 Mike Alpha. Yeah, 670 Mike Alpha, read back for us. Yeah, I nearly said silver wings. <laughs> Alright, cool, so up to Mambo, pretty much see if we can get a direct there, it'll be a parallel entry I believe. 309 radio from Orlando, let's just set everything up, you know. We're not doing everything in flight, could have gone left, that would have been easier. Let's identify them because every good pilot identifies his frequencies. And there's always learning. Done. So, got it. The only one you can really dance to. Yeah, but we know it by heart. Yeah, we do, yeah. That's, uh... Not that we don't verify. No. We, of course, verify. How do you verify? <laughs> 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 we got that in there. And expect flight level 290. Just a double check this, that's zero. After. That's up in Iraq. Right, within five, clear. that's uh, within 75 feet. Warm. That's showing Quantum zero. Bikini. Turns left. Direct. Up to, uh, Turns right. On departure. Uh, 290, uh, 290 Turns left, fall out. 
135.3 right and departure zero. Uh, Switching freely, Mike Alpha information, Sierra, on Echo, uh, ready to taxi. Number 610, Mike Alpha, executive ground, runway 7, at Alpha 7, taxi via Echo Alpha, cross runway 31 at Alpha. Alright, so these, these headsets are heavier than the Bose. Okay. Uh, and I thought I would feel weird initially wearing it, but I, I don't. If we can get serious for a moment. I've been in IMC in the ATR uh, recently, but in a single engine, been a little bit. Uh, I'm current, but uh, you're here as safety pilot, so anything that you see uh, that you can help me out with, help me out with it. If you uh, see that I'm off something, uh, let me know. Um, other than that, we're going to go up to Mambo, which is 20 DME. Uh, we're going to climb out of here 1,500 feet. We're going to uh, tell them our requests. Go, go over to Mambo, do a hold. We've already got the, got the 309 radial, uh, which will be uh, going into uh, into the fix. Hit the fix, go outbound, uh, and then parallel entry. Uh, yeah, cool. And then we'll, we'll brief everything while we're up there. All right, cool. Did they give us a heading? Uh, not yet. Okay. But I'm assuming it'll be a 055. Nine tower six seven zero Mike Alpha one shot seven alpha seven ready for uh, departure. Nine three four November Golf left turn alpha five ground point four thanks again for the pirate. Forty five Delta is on the go. Uh, only seven. You got a serious four mile final, sir. We'll make it quick. Yeah, and an angry one seventy two waiting to go. <laughs> it's comfortable. That's good. <laughs> so the uh, the battery for it is not actual batteries. It's the uh, Delta fly heading zero five five. It's two little launcher. leprechauns in here making everything. <laughs> 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 it's uh, rechargeable batteries. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's rechargeable battery pack. It's lithium. Anyway. Air 670 Mike Alpha, fly heading 055, runway 7 out, send clear for takeoff, traffic Skyhawk, 6 mile final. Roger, clear for takeoff, runway 7055 on the heading for 670 Mike Alpha. Alright. 05. Number 62770, I got Skyhawk departing, runway 7. Hi, pre takeoff checklist has been done, we're squawking. Uh, runway 7 is confirmed. Center line is obtained. Heels to the floor. Seven seven. We're going. You ready? Oh yeah. It'll look like an exam. Alrighty. Airspeed's alive. <laughs> very very good. We're coming. Fifty five. Uh, rotate. Welcome to the sky, mate. He doesn't pick up my hums. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's picking up your breath, though. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, 055, five, we're clear left, we're going left. 055, five, obtain. We're still climbing. Alright, 670, Mike Alpha, contact departure. Oh, departure, zero, Mike Alpha, see ya. Line of departure, Sky 670, Mike Alpha, 700 feet for 1,500, 055. Five. 670, Mike Alpha, the departure radar contact line, maintain 2,000. 2,000, zero, Mike Alpha. Alright, get ready for it, it's gonna happen. Yeah. 7 zero, Mike Alpha, what are your requests? I'd like to uh, proceed to Mambo, do a, a quick hold, uh, an RNAV into Leesburg, followed by two uh, RNAVs into uh, Orlando Executive for 670 Mike Alpha. 670 Mike Alpha, roger. Yeah. Here, uh, I'll have the hold shortly by heading of uh, 060. 060 and uh, hold shortly, so uh, zero Mike Alpha. Please. Over wing 270, reduce speed to 190. Alright, 1,500 feet, watch that speed. Zero, speed 190, I'm gonna let it get to 70. Heading <laughs> maintain 1,600 full established in the final quarter. Oh, it is definitely different, isn't it? It is. It is. It takes a second to uh, to adjust. Oh, we're climbing to 2,000 feet. 670, Mike Alpha, south heading 360. 360, Mike Alpha. Watch. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, still climbing VY. A bit of rudder. Now this is some deep soup. It is. I can feel my body trying to... Uh, How are you otherwise? Sorry, I'll let you finish your own sentence. <laughs> Alright, 2,000 feet. Leveling off. Level off there. Very good. Keeping the eyes moving. Uh, we're stable at 2,000. Vision 13, 10, and we're in a gap. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> well, doesn't uh, really that doesn't help the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an approach. We'll take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> cool though. 2,000 feet northbound. Golden. Uh, it was really disorienting at first though. I'll tell you. It, it was, and actually, I still feel like I'm turning left. I feel like I'm turning right. I feel like I need to turn left. Uh, well, open your eyes. 
Four nine Mike Alpha, five maintain three thousand. Three thousand six hundred Mike Alpha. Oh, we go. Thirty five, five and maintain four thousand. I'm going to maintain 4,535. Get up there as quick as you can so you don't get disoriented. Seriously. 1,000 feet per minute climb. <laughs> 45 knots in the climb. <laughs> <laughs> one, th one thing I will say I've noticed, and I, I'm not saying this like to critique, it's just a, a thing that I guess is a personal reference. Yeah, you didn't try. <laughs> I don't really need to, it wasn't really causing too much oh, really? of a thing. Oh, uh, really? Right, I'll shut up then. Universe 670 Mike Alpha, turn left to Mambo. Left uh, to Mambo for 670 Mike Alpha. Alrighty, we're going to go direct to Mambo. Can you just set that up for me? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Beautiful, that's a uh, desired track of 291. Losing 13. Ooh, I'm, I'm trusting my body. <laughs> I'm trusting your body. You can, you as well. So this thing is attached to the GPS, which we'll use now, slightly left from our original direct call, so we'll a little bit like 310, or 300, see what that gives us all the way to Mambo, we are 14 miles from Mambo, I'm going to hit Mambo, I'm going to go out on the 309 for a minute, and then uh, re-intercept the, uh, the radio, get to Mambo, swing it left, that'll be the hold established, and we don't need to do much more than that. I know we're being silly and all, but I really hope it comes across. Ow. Blue. To to maintain. For the instruments we are. Absolutely. Specifically you, because you're flying. But even still. No, even you as well, though. Is that I have zero mic off, I climb and maintain 4,000. 4,000, 600 zero mic off. Son of a... Alright, up we go. But yeah, no, I, I asked you to kind of watch my back, uh, and you, you've got to be glued as well. So, you know, you, you're not just here for the ride. Can you help me with that? Yeah, yeah, zero one five three five zero nine hundred climbing two thousand. Uh, to be honest with you, we're coming out to the top of it, and I'm thankful for that. Five four nine. On approach, uh, Sky six seven zero. My call, just uh, advisory. Where we are, tops of thirty seven hundred. Sure, my God, but thank you. Thanks, didn't ask for it. I feel like the other person would be appreciative of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, nobody dislikes a pilot report. Uh. You can talk about the headset a little bit. Yes. It's very comfortable. <laughs> I was concerned about the comfort level. And when I spoke to Lightspeed when they when they said they wanted to send me it, that, that was one of my things. Uh, I need something that's comfortable because obviously wearing it for a long time, obviously doing stuff like this, like if I'm worried about the comfort of my headset, then I'm not going to do well glued to the instruments because it's just another thing that's distracting you. But it's actually very, very comfortable. Zero Mike Alpha, hold over Mambo was published, maintaining 4,000, and expect further clearance at 1900. I expect further clearance 1900, will hold uh, over Mambo 4,000 for 670 Mike Alpha. Very good, well, thank you, back correct. 1900. That's 35 minutes of the hold. Cool. Yeah, no worries. It's, it's just if we lose comms. He's, he's not going to keep us up there 35 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. Alrighty, so we're coming up for uh, 1.4 from Mambo. From Mambo, I'm going to go to 309. Cool, alright, 20 seconds for 0.6. Holding, this is saying uh, 301. Not here, right? We're not doing that, we're doing 309. It's not got the hold in. That's fine. All I need is distance. That's all I care about. I'll, I'll do it off the VOR. 1885, you do the same, we 1322. Alrighty, we're turning to 309, here we go. And can you set the timer outbound, please? Legion 2825, turn left heading 120, maintain 1600, so establish in the local lines of foot ILS runway. A couple of seconds ILS, late, that's alright, no problem. Approach. This first one's just to get established anyway, so it's not, not uh, no issue. Alrighty, I've just gone a little bit further than 309 just to maintain the radio. I will go outbound for a minute. And I'm actually going to change that to 309 for 33 seconds. Yeah, honestly, I was concerned about the audio quality as well. It's good. It's, yeah. Alright, so we're, we're still on the radio here, 309, 56 seconds, I'm just waiting, 59, 60, stop the time if you could. I will make the turn. Alright, there's 129, but I've got to re-intercept the, the radial, so I'm going to go about 30 degrees past three, uh, 129, about a 159, 160, still at 4,000 feet. Start the timer for me if you could. 
I went a little bit further out than I needed to, but see this coming back. I'll just wait for that to reintercept, and then uh, we're established inbound. I'm turning back now, we're on the radio, I'm going to 129, we're still at 4,000 feet. We're at 3,000 in the hold. 3,000 in the hold, 600 in my car. Unbelievable. Yeah, you are going to be in the soup. <laughs> yeah, great. Number two golf, Bravo, to maintain one Alrighty, there's 20, stop the time, we're going to make a turn. So this is where it gets a little bit uncomfortable because now he's, he's asked us to do a descent in the hold. You've still got to do all your hold stuff. But descending while doing it. But so. descending while doing it. So I've got a standard rate turn to the left. I've got a very shallow descent. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much maintaining it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that approach. Uh, <laughs> we'll be down shortly. But here we go, I'm turning around to a 309 heading. We like to do, um, we're not looking for a radial at this point, we're, we're going to be off the radial now. Uh, Alrighty, can you start the timer please? We actually got to 309 at bang on uh, 20 DAB. I'll take that. Well, on the inbound leg I'm going to request uh, the approach into Leesburg. Okay. It's a Leesburg? Yep. I'll try and pull it. Oh, it's already here. Yep. All right, so we're turning left to re-intercept the radial. That's all we're trying to do. We don't need to make this more difficult than it needs to be. That's that's all this hold is. Get back inbound. One, two, nine. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I'm going to steepen it up just a little bit because we are intercepting a little bit quicker than uh, I anticipated. All right, cool. Well, let's request it. On approach 670, Mike Alf, we're uh, ready when you have to leave the hold for uh, an on up into a Leesburg. Number zero, Mike Alf, information golf current there on F4 is in use. All right, Roger, we'll pick up golf for 670, Mike Alf. F4 is in use on F4. 200, and expect punk you next. And I have Mr. Bush in just a moment. All right, Roger, 200 for now, expect punk you next, and uh, we'll uh, wait for the Mr. Broach, 670, Mike Alf. I'm oh, no. sorry. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was this amazing headset that allowed me to hear it. <laughs> Alright, in all honesty, mate, uh, I'm going to use you. Yeah, sure. Uh, Can we set up the approach? Or? Uh, no, you're going to fly. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Um, so I'll set you up on 200 at 3000 and I'll set everything up and brief it. This is the way we do it. After completion of the approach, flighting 090, maintain 2000. Alright, after the approach, 090 and 2000 for 670, Michael. And I'm zero Mike Alpha. After this, I got you with two RNAV approaches into executive. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Six seven zero Mike Alpha. Roger, expect that. Roger. Is the uh, the ILS up at uh, exec? Yeah, ILS is up as well. All right, one of them will be in, uh, an ILS. Okay. Alrighty. You have the flight controls. I have flight controls. The flight controls. Two zero zero three thousand. I'm going to set this approach up. And it's VMC. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to go procedure, we're going to go approach Leesburg, runway 4, he said expect punk you. Alright, we'll activate that approach for now, that gives us punk you, and then jocks and cool, that's it there. So we're doing the r 4 at Leesburg, 040 is the approach course, which we will put in here, we'll switch this to GPS. Uh, runway landing is 4,688 feet, we're not going to be landing, we're going to be going miss. Touchdown zone elevation is uh, 70, airport elevation is 76. Got all the uh, the, the uh, frequencies in there that we need. Uh, I'm Joe Mike Alpha, direct to Punk and join the approach. Direct to Punk join the approach there, Mike Alpha. All right, join Punk uh, We're going direct to Punk Punk uh, The minimum's uh, 2,000 feet though, we're at 3,000 for now. It's at Punk we go to 310 to Joxon, and then from Joxon uh, to Jurot. Uh, is a zero four zero uh, down to eighteen hundred feet at Jura, and then it's down to the uh, the minimum five hundred and eighty feet. Uh, we will get a glide path uh, indication. Uh, I will follow that down. Uh, it's going to be an advisory glide path. However, we will follow it. The missed approach instructions are zero nine zero and uh, two thousand feet instead of the published. So I'm going to write that down here. Zero nine zero two thousand. I don't think I missed anything other than the. Uh, Visibility one zero. Sky conditions one thousand scattered. Temperature two three dew point one nine or altimeter three zero one eight. RNAV runway four approaching use. Notice airman, Pappy lights runway four and runway one three out of service. Advise on initial contact to other information golf. Please bring our next level for information golf. One seven five three weather. Wind zero one zero at one zero. 
visibility one zero. Sky conditions one thousand scattered. Temperature two three two point one nine around temperature three zero one eight. Arnav runway four approaching use. Right. You want to take controls real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Controls. Controls. We have someone at the higher scenario who needs no, the, the to talk to me about something. Okay. Airport and cleared. Uh, speed it up a little bit so we can do this a bit quicker. Um, 670 Mike Alpha, is, would it be okay if I just give you vectors and you want the full approach? Oh no, we'll take vectors if you can give them, 0 Mike Alpha. 0 Mike Alpha, fly heading 270, vectors are final. 270, vectors are final, 670 Mike Alpha. That works better, vectors. Number 0 Mike Alpha, change my frequency 120.22. And 0 Mike Alpha is up on 20.22. Uh, Number 0 Mike Alpha, thank you. When you go miss, you can use this frequency. Alright, this frequency, thanks. Number zero, Mike Alpha, turn right heading up 290 to set to maintain 2000. 290 and 2000 for 670, Mike Alpha. Bucky 545. Alrighty, right, right turn 290. Thank you. Got 290, we're going down to 2000. Go to the pre landing checklist, gotta get all on, all on. And if I just back myself up with a checklist. Landing lights, seat yeah. belts, seats, yep. make I'm sure flaps. Uh, Got coordination I had going on here. <laughs> Talking about how professional we are. <laughs> Mike Alpha, flatting three, correction, zero, one, zero, and accept the final approach course. Zero, one, zero, to intercept for six, seven, zero, Mike Alpha. New Elf call. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a quick intercept. In 2842 Orlando approach, thank you. Going down to 2000, gonna slow it down a little bit. Zero Mike Alpha, five miles from Drill Rod, maintain 2000 till established, good RNAV runway 4 approach. 2000 till established, clear for the RNAV 4, so uh, 600 Zero Mike Alpha. Keep doing zero it. Mike Alpha, Red Service R terminating, contact Leesburg Tower, 119.35. Over the tower for 600 six Zero Mike Alpha. Leesburg Tower, Sky 600 Zero Mike Alpha, inbound on the uh, RNAV runway 04. 600 Zero Mike Alpha, Leesburg Tower, report crossing Girot. Report Girot, 600 Zero Mike Alpha. Alright, turn to 040, we're going to see if that holds, we're at 2,000 feet, we are, we've done the pre-landing checklist, uh, and yeah, cool, I don't think the compass lines up, we'll just double check, once we stabilise, I'm going to have to keep 030 for now because it's showing me off, yep, uh, that's why. I'll go left a little bit. 2000 until established, we can go to 1800, we are established, we've been cleared for the approach, so down to 18, zero. Alrighty, we're re-intercepted, we're going back to 040, we're going to hold it, see what it gives us, see if, I don't want to chase it, I want it to chase me. Waiting for Jurot, we're 2.2 from Jurot, this is where it's going to start to get unstable uh, because a lot of things are going to start to happen at once but we're trying to going to try and hold it. We've been doing well so far, I'm actually pleased with the performance. It's been, you know, it's been a passing grade on an instrument rated, uh, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got LP plus V, we got the advisory uh, glide path. So that's good, it's coming in. We are 1.2 from Girot and it's getting unstable. I'm feeling the body signals. Zoom that in. Missed approach is 2000 and 090. I'm going to slow it down. Get ready to put the flaps in. We're below 110. We're holding course. We're holding altitude. We don't want to descend before Jurot. A bit of that in. I'm going to add 10 degrees of flaps in there. That's going to bump me up a little bit. There's the bump. I'm going to stop the bump. We're coming up to the glide path. We're coming up to Girot. I'm going to wait until it shows that I'm past Girot before I descend. Because this could be a little bit misleading. Telling me I'm there when I'm not just yet. I am now. Uh, no, I'm not. Hold on. Now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and I'm off course as I was uh, dealing with all that. The minimum is 580. That's what we're going down to. I wonder if we see it. <laughs> this uh, might be a miss. Sorry, I'll let you speak. No, I'm, I'm just trying to maintain between 90 and 100 knots, but you are right. It, honestly, it might be a mist for the me not being stabilised on the course. Good grief. Still holding a little bit to the right. All right, I'm not, I'm not moving my eyes as I should be. We're descending 90 knots. We're back on the course. That's what I want. All right, give me that turn back to 040. Let that hold it. See what there it gives There we go. Jesus, we're on the glide path, we've got a nice descent going, about 500 feet per minute is what I'm aiming for. Oh, my head, my f***ing head is spinning past the <laughs> gyroscope. <laughs> Alright, I got ground contact. At least con you're rigid though. I got ground contact. Cool.
Well, water contact. <laughs> Alrighty, 1300 feet, we got it set. Yeah, I just had a peek outside. I shouldn't have done that, but uh, I am seeing round. We're between 90 and 100 knots. We got the crosshairs. We're looking way inside. beautiful. There it is. Cool. That is a loggable approach because we're in it at uh, the final approach fix. Alright, I'm going to go down to the minimum and go missed. Um, good. Wait, did you report? Ah, uh, no, Leesburg. Sir Mike, officer, sorry, we forgot to report, Girot. We're inside, Girot. Sir, sir Mike, I have no problem. Runway 4, clear for the option, wind 0408. Alright, clear for the option, runway uh, 04670, Mike, off. That's why you're here. That's my bad as well, though. I, f I, I don't have anything to do. Oh, and it, I forgot. I'm too busy trying to explain what I'm doing. Alrighty, he's cleared us for the option. We are just going to go miss, though. And uh, we'll go back and I'm going to do an ILS in Orlando. 800 for uh, 580. Still holding, still looking at my engine. Still maintaining the glide path. 700. Obviously at this point I'd be configuring for a normal landing, we've obviously got it in sight, but... And 600 feet, we'll call that, we're going to go missed. And Leesburg, 670 Mike Alpha, we're going to go missed. 670 Mike Alpha, Roger, you can execute your climb out, contact all land departure, have a good day. Execute the climb out, so uh, appreciate the hospitality for 670 Mike Alpha. All on departure, Sky 670 Mike Alpha, 090, climbing through 1100 for 2000. Number 670 Mike Alpha, Orlando Departure, Ident. Ident, 670 Mike Alpha. Number Mike Alpha, we're at contact one mile south of the Leesburg Airport. Fly heading of 130, vectors for ILS, runway 7. 130, and uh, vectors for the ILS for uh, 670 Mike Alpha. Overall, I'm happy with how that approach went. Other than missing the final approach fix report, I was pleased with the way that I flew. I feel like I was ahead of everything and my control allowed for a successful approach. I had to consciously stop myself from listening to what my body was telling me and focus on my instruments. If you think you know best in that situation, you probably don't. Just trust your instruments. As I said, we're going to go back to Orlando now and shoot an ILS approach to a full stop. However, just outside the final approach fix, my face cam and secondary panel cam ran out of battery, which caused me to lose cockpit audio. Without a backup today, I'm going to have to show you a condensed version of the approach to cap off the video before I give you my final thoughts on the Lightspeed Delta Zulu headset. I'm having a good time, but this isn't, it's not fun flying, it's it's, it's work. This is, this is, yeah. this, this is a workout. Number 670 Mike Alpha, contact Orlando Approach, 119er, point four. have a good day. Orlando Sky 670 Mike Alpha, 2130. Number 670 Mike Alpha, Orlando Approach, Spectrex is final, ILS. Spectrex is final, the ILS, 670 Mike Alpha. ILS runway 07, Orlando 1099 is set in, 073 is set in, runway landing 5604, touchdown zone 109, airport elevation 113, we're getting back to the final, it's 2000 at the final approach fix, down to the minimum 391, missed approach, it's runway heading 1500 and 135.3. Uh, controls? Controls. 140 and uh, 2000 feet, I'm going to test this uh, carbon monoxide thing. Alrighty, so, how the monoxide was, but like a caution threshold, a critical threshold, and it's showing normal at the moment. There's no, that's pretty cool. There's that. no risk of carbon monoxide. What if I breathe directly into the sensor? <laughs> okay, let's turn the heater on and see what changes. That's really cool though. So we know we're kind of fully free of of, of death. Yeah, take a screenshot of it. I've, I'm doing a screen recording. Oh yeah, there you uh, go. You can record air traffic control audio on it. That's good. That's pretty cool. Try that. Yeah, let's do it. Access to the microphone. Yeah. I wonder if it picks up me as well. Check, 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 check. All right, so we did it. Picks you up. Beautiful. Wow. I've not set up the hearing uh, eqity, but uh, honestly, the the. <laughs> but I, don't, I I haven't needed to. It's been absolutely fine. It's been great. Number three, Alpha Zulu, climbing 5,000. 5,000 feet, three Alpha Zulu. Number three, Alpha Zulu, contact Orlando departure at 120. We're going to go through the course here. Yeah. 2015, three Alpha Zulu. Not approach, Sky 670, Mike Alpha, just want to uh, confirm you still want us on 130. Number 670, Mike Alpha is uh, five miles from Denmark, turn left, heading of a 060, maintain 2,000. Till established on the localizer, clear for the ILS runway 7 approach. All right, 060, 2,000 till established, clear for the ILS runway 7 uh, approach, 670, Mike Alpha. The perfect example of why they put on the, on the written test to query ATC 
if something's not looking quite right. Over to Tower 6 Mike Alpha, Executive Tower 118.7. Over to Tower 670 Mike Alpha, appreciate the help. Uh, Tower Sky 670 Mike Alpha, uh, ILS uh, runway 7, just re establishing. 670 Mike Alpha, land Executive Tower, wind 040 at 9 and runway 7, cleared to land. Clear to land runway 7, 670 Mike Alpha. It felt like for a second when we were straight and level, it felt like we were still turning left. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so. Absolutely. Too. I still feel like I'm turning, but it's level. Yeah. I've, I've leveled off now, but um, after that sort of like a bit of a, honestly, a bit of an abrupt turnout to the right, yep. I still felt like I was turning left. Yep. Yep. Anyway, we're coming in back onto the ILS. Onto the localizer, sorry. The whole system is the ILS dip. All right, we're on it. I'm going to hold uh, 060 for now, see what that gives. Oh, I'm sorry, are we boring? <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point that the cameras start to die. See what that does. GoPros don't have a good battery life. I shouldn't have to worry about the batteries dying when shooting decent quality video. I also shouldn't be listening to my body signals, but you can see I'm banking way too much as I'm trying to correct using the instruments. This is a quick way to get yourself disoriented, and if you don't catch it, the situation could turn badly pretty quickly. Luckily, I was able to catch myself and stabilize. We're approaching the final approach fix. And at this point, when around one dot below the glide slope indication, I introduce the flaps, extending to 10 degrees for the approach. I aim to fly the approach between 90 and 100 knots. With the glide slope intercepted, that's my final approach fix on the ILS, I start my descent. I'm not a huge fan of chopping and changing power settings during an approach, and you can see my hand is on the throttle, and I'm finally tuning the power to give me a descent rate that I want, and I just pitch to maintain the glide slope. Of course though, you have a localizer to maintain too, and when in the soup, you have to keep your eyes moving to be able to be ahead of everything. But as much as we love flying in IMC, this is always a relief. Alright, so verdict time, not only on my instrument flying, which I'm actually quite pleased with. Sorry about the, the audio failing towards the end, but these things happen. I'm not about to readjust my cameras and batteries uh, while I'm doing an ILS approach. Pretty pleased with, with the way that that went. Uh, it's a good uh, learning experience, good uh, currency and proficiency experience, so I'm very, very pleased. I'm also very, very pleased with the Delta Zulus from Lightspeed. You know, going from you know, using the competitor, which is Bose, I was skeptical as to whether these would be able to hold up to that same standard. I have to admit, yeah, the Bose has a little bit of a crisper audio. You're not noticing much of a difference with- your new sponsor. Sennheiser, passive. Anyway, so yeah, thanks. I, I, I was really, really surprised about how well I could hear everything, how well the noise cancellation was. Very, very impressed uh, with these things. I appreciate Lightspeed sending them over for me to kind of test out and to share with you. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting paid to, to do this little review. Um, he's not getting paid to do that all on his own either. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a nice little uh, present uh, around Christmas time for uh, Lightspeed to send them over for me to try. So if you're in the market for a, a headset, you can't go wrong with a, a Delta Zulu. Very, very impressive. So thank you, Lightspeed. Thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you for pushing that back and yeah let me know in the comments if you use uh, light speed headsets and how you feel about them and how they compare to other headsets in the aviation market that's it we're going to tie it down thank you for watching appreciate you being here i'll see you on the next one